Okay, so we're gonna do McDonald's today. First up, shaker fries. So, throw them in the bag. And I have no idea what the, oh, cheese. Okay, so we're gonna have cheesy fries. All right, a shake. Put some on the camera. Give these a go. All right, not too bad. And I believe they have different flavors wherever you go around the world, except for Canada hasn't had them yet. I believe they had them in the US though. So yeah, these are actually pretty good. Okay, so next up, chicken wings. They had them at Burger King and they got them at McDonald's. Here they are. They're uh, reasonably priced. I can't remember, it's like two euros for four so like 50 cents euros a piece not bad that's actually a pretty good wing so we're burger kings um geez i don't know i think these were cooked pretty fresh so they're a lot more hot and crispy but definitely they need to bring this this chicken wing thing to canada Okay, so this is the Signature Collection, and um, it's by Danny Garcia. I'm assuming that's some sort of celebrity or celebrity chef. Kind of, maybe it's like our BTS meal. Anyways, um, it's got goat cheese and some sauce, caramelized onions it looks like. Pretty good looking burger. Um, but remember I said in my other videos that food in Spain is pretty cheap, right? This is not, this is nine euros, which will run you, give or take on the exchange rate, 1350 Canadian, uh, just for the burger, not a combo. So anyways, we'll get into this, try our out. That is amazing. If you like goat cheese, this is like a grown up burger, basically, it is delicious. Mm. Yeah, that is really good. Highly recommend this. A little pricey, but if you're in, I don't know if it's across Europe or just in Spain, but if you're in Spain, definitely try this once. Totally worth it. All right, next up is the CBO, which I'm not exactly sure what that is. Take a look at this. So it's square. It's got onions baked into the bun. It's like chicken, bacon, maybe mayo. Anyway, they got a couple different chicken burgers. I didn't want to get them all because it would be like this came to 30 euros, which is about $45 Canadian. So it's kind of pricey considering you can go and get like a three course a menu of the day in Spain for like nine euros. Oh, my camera fell. Anyway, you can't beat the location here right on the uh, Paseo Maritimo or the promenade down at Fingarola. What a beautiful spot. McDonald's kind of has their own little section. Anyway, we'll get in the CBO. Okay, this is, this blows a McChicken out of the water. That is phenomenal. The only thing I would, I'd take that cheese off. I don't like McDonald's cheese, but other than that, it's amazing. I love this onion bun. Yeah. That is amazing. All right, they also got these. They're called McChicken Bites. Um, you get like this bag, dollar fifty euro. I, I guess just like popcorn chicken. Yeah, that's all it is. It tastes like a like a Junior McChicken, only in a round ball. Pretty good. Not bad for a snack. And I know you've all had this before, but it was kind of cool that McDonald's sells them. Cherry tomatoes, you just get a bag of them. I think it was like a Euro. But I must say the produce in Spain, because they grow it right here, like it's, I don't know, within an hour probably of here. Uh, it's delicious, it's so fresh. Um, tastes quite a bit, well, you know in Canada, in the winter, everything's imported from the States, New Zealand, and. South America so it's picked before it's ripe well this stuff is like super ripe so it's very good 
All right, and since we're on the healthy kick, we'll get into this. They sell a slice of melon. Not sure what kind. I see it at all the fruit stands. They have like fruit stands in every neighborhood here. And uh, sort of like a white watermelon. Possibly could be. Anyway, we'll get into it, try her out. This is a genius idea. Um, McDonald's Canada starts selling melons or something other than apples. Like really, I mean, apples are great, but this is much better. All right, guys. Now, if uh, my Beno Maldina video is out before the McDonald's, you'll see that I had gazpacho at a restaurant over in Beno Maldina. It was fantastic. Now, I've never had it bottled like this. I've always had it like fresh prepared from like a like a chef or whatever. So we'll give this a go. It's kind of cool that they sell it in a bottle. The stuff is delicious, like the prepared stuff. So we'll see how this bottled stuff is. Okay, so it's pretty good. It's, it's really refreshing. Um, not as good as the stuff in the restaurant, obviously. Um, and the, of course, the price reflects that is like a euro or two euros. And the one in the restaurant, I think, was oh, uh, I don't know what it was, four or five euros. So much different, but convenient. All right, guys. So we're on to dessert, and they have a whole bunch of different um, McFlurries and stuff. Um, I'm not really into sweets, a huge amount, so I just went, it's kind of the same flavors in sundaes as they have in McFlurries, they're just way smaller. Anyways, this is a peanut butter sundae, and for those of you who know me, peanut butter is probably like my favorite thing. Addicted to peanut butter, peanut butter anything. So anyway, and love, look at this, wooden spoon, no plastic. So they're doing that right. Anyway, it's, it's melting very fast because it's like 30 degrees at night. Yeah, like literally, you could pour peanut butter on anything and I'd probably eat it. This is amazing. Definitely way better than the chocolate one. They also do this in McFlurry. Um, so, if you're into McFlurries, try the peanut butter one. All right, well, all in all, um, they have a few different things. They have some like crunchy chicken burgers. They have a new American American um, cheeseburger. It's like double cheeseburger, like two pieces of cheese, bacon and stuff. I didn't get that because really similar to, uh, you know, to the burgers back home. But um, overall, not too bad, a little pricey though. Um, you know, if you're, in a, if you're in a time pinch, not bad, but I'd probably just stick with the Spanish restaurants to be honest but not not bad i did like the chicken burger and that danny garcia uh goat cheese thing fantastic but i mean you can go and get a full meal almost for that price so yeah it's like a one-time thing for me 